Hey everyone, so right now I'm going to be filming my May favorites and honestly this is crazy for me and I don't know if it's crazy for any of you but I feel like it was just yesterday that I sat down to film my April favorites which is when I came back to YouTube so I'm really excited about that and exams are getting really close, they're in a couple weeks so that means summertime is coming and I'll be able to focus a lot more on YouTube which I'm super happy about um, but yeah, this month I kind of rediscovered some products I used to like a lot and then just like kind of put them away and never went back to so I thought I'd share them with you guys. I do have like a couple newer products also. Um, but yeah, my first product I have is an eyeshadow. And this is from the Naked 2 palette. And I love this whole palette, but the color I've been really liking a lot this month is Verve. Which is just this shimmery silver color. And it just looks like this. And what I do with this is I put it in my inner corner. And it just like makes my eyes pop and just makes me look a lot more awake in the mornings. And usually I use a white eyeshadow to do that. But I absolutely have been loving this silver in the inner corner this month and I definitely recommend checking it out and somebody is at my window, which is creeping me out. Alright, whatever. Okay, yeah, my next eyeshadow I have here is from the drugstore and it's by L'Oreal and this is the Color Infallible Eyeshadow in 021 Sahara Treasure and it just looks like this. It's like a bronzy taupe color and what I do with this is I put it all over my lid and then into my crease I'll just like blend a light brown and it makes it look like you've spent like 5 minutes or more on your eyeshadow when really you've probably only taken 45 seconds to a minute or so and I get tons of compliments on it. Um, and then moving into face products, I have a couple here. My first one is by Maybelline and this is the Fit Me Press Powder in 115 and I have majorly hit pan on this. Um, this month I've been using this instead of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And this is from the drugstore, so it's a lot cheaper. I think it was like 4 or $5. And this doesn't like make you look cakey or anything like that. And it does make your makeup last all day. So I definitely recommend trying that out if you can. And then for my next face product, I have a blush here. Um, this is by Tarte, and this is in the color Doll Face. And, okay, this is the 12-hour um, Amazonian Clay Blush. And I'm not going to lie, before I sat down to film this video... I dropped it off my desk and it shattered. It didn't just shatter, like it literally crumbled into a million little pieces. So I'm really upset about that, um, but I've had this for like, oh, probably a year or more now, so I should probably pick up a new one anyways because I was running low. This looks really nice on just like everybody, um, every any skin tone. It's very natural, so it does provide a nice amount of color and it lasts all day. Um, and then my next face product here is a primer, and this is by Benefit. This is the Poreflexional um, Pro Balm to Minimize pore, the Appearance of Pores Primer, and I absolutely love this. Um, this is just the mini size because I got this for Christmas in just like a little set of just like all little Benefit things. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be repurchasing the full size because actually I just ran out of my Smashbox photo finish hydrating primer which I absolutely loved um, that's about like $50 or so and I actually like this kind of a little bit more so yeah I'm gonna repurchase the full size of this and it definitely does reduce the size of your pores I don't really struggle with my pores or like acne or anything like that but I definitely have noticed somewhat of a difference with this um, and then moving into lip products I have two here my first one is also by Tarte and this is in Amused, and this is the Lip Surgeon Slip Pencil, and it just looks like this. It's just like a hot pink kind of color, and I really like this because they're not very, like, they don't cake on your lips, so they're just, like, very sheer as well, but they do provide a nice amount of coverage, or color, I guess I should say. Um, and they smell like mint, <laughs> um, but yeah, they are really nice, and they are very moisturizing, so I definitely recommend those. And then my next one is by Carol Baker, and this is a plumping lip gloss in Strawberry Daiquiri, and it just looks like this. I have loved this this month. It's not like a gloss where it's like really like sticky, and it just like gives you a really nice color on your lip, and it just looks really natural and everything like that, and I absolutely love this. Um, and then moving into like more random favorites, my first one is a makeup brush, and this is by Sigma, and this is the... Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush in F40, and I have loved this this month. Um, I use this for contouring and to apply blush, and it just is like puts it on very natural. Um, it doesn't look like too much or overdo anything like that. And yeah, I definitely recommend Sigma brushes in general and this brush in particular. 
Um, and then my next one is a makeup remover, and this is by Maybelline, and this is the Clean Express Eye Makeup Remover. Um, it says it re removes waterproof mascara, and usually what I do with this is I'll just like sit there with a cotton pad on my eye for like 10 seconds, and then I'll just wipe it away, and all my makeup comes off. Um, I probably shouldn't be putting this in this video because I've only had this for like a week and a half, two weeks, but I can already tell that I'm going to be repurchasing this, and this is like one of the best eye makeup removers I've ever used. Um, and then my next one is by Clean and Clear and this is the Oil Absorbing Sheets. And I don't really struggle with oil, but this month, just like with the warmer weather, I have been somewhat just like around my nose and in my T-zone. So I'll just bring these to school and I'll just like pat it all over my face and it just like, like freshens up your makeup and doesn't make you look like greasy. My next one I have here is a nail polish and this is by Butter London and it's in Kerfluffle. Um, and it's just like this peachy, I guess, pastel color and this month I have been wearing this so much. It's really nice for spring and just like transitioning into summer. Um, another one that I recommend that isn't as expensive as this one is Essie's Tarte Deco. It is a little bit brighter than this one but it's also a really nice color and I like them both pretty much equally. Um, and then for like scents and I guess just like some more random things, my first like, I guess I'll say scent is by Bath and Body Works and this is actually the Pillow Mist um, Sleep Aroma in Lavender Vanilla. And I don't really like lavender but my mom picked one of these up and picked one up for me like a couple months ago and I didn't think I was going to like it at first but this month I've just like had some trouble with like sleeping and like I said I've been stressed out about like just getting near the end of school so I just like spray this all over my bed and just on my pillows and I wouldn't really say that it like helps me sleep but it definitely does relax me somewhat and the smell isn't like too overpowering or anything like that um, and then my next is also a candle from Bath and Body Works and this is in Bahama Fizz and I have another one burning over there right now so this is just my backup but this smells like bananas and like strawberry, kiwi and pineapple and yeah, so it's pretty much just like any like summer like fruit scent you would want and I don't know if that's exactly what's in it but I absolutely love this and I would definitely recommend like if you like like more I guess like sour kind of like fruity scents I would definitely recommend this for you. Um, my friends absolutely love it like when they walk in my room they're like what is that? So I show them this candle and they've all gone and picked it up. Um, and then my next is a body cream and this is by Sabon I want to say. S-A-B-O-N. Um, this is the butter cream and it says body cream based on shea butter and this is in Sweet Summer. And I got this in New York last year for eye mats and it smells like kiwis. Um, but yeah, usually what I do with this is like when I get out of the shower I'll rub it on my arms and my legs and it just like makes you really moisturized and like if you've just shaved or anything like that I feel like it helps a lot with like not getting like bumps on your legs. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And then moving into, I guess, fashion favorites this month, I've really been loving floral, like, high-waisted skirts. Um, I have two here. My first one is from Costa Blanca, and it's just, like, this black floral one, obviously, and it just looks like this. And then my next one is by Urban Outfitters, and it just looks like this. Um, and what I like about these is that you can dress them up or dress them down. You can wear them with a t-shirt to wear them dressed down. Or you can dress them up with like a nice like sheer blouse and just like high heels and you're pretty much ready for any occasion. Moving on to like my food favorite, I have two or I guess one and one drink. Um, my first food favorite is a cereal and this is Honeycombs. And I eat this every morning for breakfast, which I know not that many people eat breakfast. But I just have a bowl of this with a banana and just like some milk. And it is so good. Like honestly, I look forward to breakfast now because of honeycombs. Like honeycombs have just been like my best friend the past month. And they are absolutely so delicious. And like sometimes I'll have them as a snack or breakfast like I said. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I've had them for dinner. Yeah. Guilty. Um, but then moving into like my last or one of my last favorites. It is a... I don't even know what to call this. I guess you would call it like a scrapbook, a notebook, or just a thing. And this is the Smash um, Journal. <laughs> there we go. Journal. Journal scrapbook notebook. I don't know. But what this is, is just like, you can just put anything in it that comes to mind. Um, I put just like old memories that come back to mind. I put quotes in it. I just put pictures of when I was a baby. Just anything like that. And usually what I do is I'll sit down with this like, 
10 or 15 minutes before bed and just like if anything interesting has happened that day, just throw that in here and everything like that. Like you can see there's some pictures of when I was a little baby. Um, but yeah, I'm going through some, I guess, health problems right now that I'll talk about in a whole other video. And I just like write down some really inspirational quotes, um, just some letters I've wrote here, anything. And I absolutely love this. I think it's such a great idea and I definitely recommend anybody to get one. Like even if you're not having a hard time but you're just kind of like bored sometimes. And honestly, it does keep me entertained a lot, so I definitely recommend picking one up if you can. Um, I think you can get them at Michael's and like maybe Target or something. And then for my last favorite, it's a song, and it is Pretty Eyes by Alex Goot. And I absolutely love Alex Goot. Um, I saw him in Toronto in November, and then I'm going to see him again in July. And yeah, I absolutely love his music. His songs are absolutely amazing. And yeah, I definitely recommend checking him out. Uh, but that's all I have for this video. If you have any requests, please leave them down below, and I'll be sure to check them out, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!